okay welcome back to another video today i'm going to show you how to turn a jpeg or a png file into a webp image i don't know what webp stands for but it's not important all you need to know is this webp images have a 23 percent smaller file size than png images and the quality is the same so what that means is your site loads faster because the images are smaller the first thing I'll do is open up a nice marketing image that I'm going to use on my sales page and we will see the file size. There you go. So where was I? Uh, yeah, WebP. Let's see the properties here. As you can see, the file size for this image is 92.8 kilobytes okay, for this entire image and it's a JPEG file. Now if we go to tinypng.com and we try and compress this file you'll see that it goes from 95.1 kilobytes to 46.4 kilobytes that's a reduction of 51% so we'll download it The next thing you'll need to do is go to cloudconvert.com sign up for an account but uh, use your email and password don't use Facebook because if your account is tied to Facebook and they ban your ass or something then you lose your account here you won't be able to log in okay now I must give credit where it's due I learned about this tool from Adam Payne's uh, Facebook group official beers with Adam okay I learned it from here so anyway back to cloud convert after signing up for cloud convert you should receive an email asking you to verify your email address so do that we come back here select file from my computer and i choose wonder woman and we'll convert it to a web p okay click here and you can choose whichever format you want we are going with web p convert it so where were we ah uh, yes web p download it and Here's the WebP image. Check the properties, and you can see it is 45.5 kilobytes. So we went from 95.1 kilobytes to 46.4, down to 45.5 kilobytes. Slightly smaller, but when you have many images on your page, every bit counts. So it will now load faster. From here, you just uh, upload your image to Amazon S3 or Dropbox or whatever you're using and embed the image on your web page okay if you don't know how to do that then I'm very sorry uh, you don't have a future in marketing <laughs> no just kidding just kidding okay just do a search on YouTube and learn how to embed the image and I'll see you next time stay cool and one more thing hit the like button and the subscribe and whatever other bullshit YouTube wants you to do and show this channel some love but more importantly show me some love with a lot of other issues I'll see you next time